Okay, trying out a little test here. I don't know how well the microphone is gonna pick things up, but uh, we'll just give it a try anyhow and see how it is. Um, experimenting with uh, basically three different antenna setups. Uh, the radios gonna be used for this experiment are my, uh, let's see, the Kenwood R2000, the Hellcrafters um, S4DB, and my realistic DX160. Now, with the Kenwood, that's hooked up to my main outdoor antenna. The Hellcrafters, just for the heck of it, I just have a piece of wire, you know, attached to the A terminal on the back, and that's going outside out the window, and it's hooked up to the slinky um, on the porch. And the the uh, realistic DX160, I've got that um, that twin lead leading to a um, ballon which I have uh, just a piece of coax hooked up to and that's just, I just have you know running along the length of the back wall here so we're just gonna compare signals uh, right now I got uh, 3185 uh, kilohertz on which I believe is WTWW or something like that the time is uh, 107 UTC and um, what we'll be listening to is what I like to call the Screaming Preacher Guy. So um, here's the Kenwood. Hopefully you can hear this with the uh, air conditioner running in the background. Okay, that was the screaming preacher guy on the Kenwood, and give me a second here, because I, I gotta tilt the keyboard up so I can get the microphone to stretch this far. Uh, now let's do the Hellcrafters using the piece of long wire. Oh, uh, before I forget, um, on the Hellcrafters, I've got the noise limiter switch turned on. This is what it sounds like when I turn the noise limiter off. Here's the uh, DX160. And for the heck of it, let's just do the Grundig on its uh, telescopic antenna.
Not really hearing any difference between the internal antenna, the telescopic antenna, and the external antenna here on the Grundig. I've noticed that my external antenna doesn't really do well on the 80 meter band, basically performs about the same, maybe a little bit noisier than, you know, just using this on the Grundig. But uh, just for comparison, let's go back, oops, down to the Kenwood. <laughs> Must be nice being able to afford airtime to get on a shortwave station and scream incoherently. <laughs> now here's the Hellcrafter uh, just using the long wire. <laughs> oh my god, so, so freaking entertaining. And finally, yet again, the, the DX160. And that's the screaming preacher guy. Um, it was just a quick test to see what each antenna sounded like. Now that I think of it, doing it on the band where my um, outdoor antenna doesn't really perform any different than the indoor antennas um, pretty much made this experiment a little pointless, but you know, it was a little, a little something different of trying out. Um, I think for the Helicrafters here, I'm just going to stick with that uh, wire that I have running out to the porch because... Um, I don't know, so far I'm happy with the results. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep this set up or eventually get a um, a Balin or even try attempting to make a Balin where I can um, basically run the, the coax from my antenna switcher here and then, you know, run the coax to the radio and having the Balin so I can... Um, uh, step up the impedance or whatever happens, I can't remember. Forgive me, I'm tired. Um, or if I'm just going to stick with um, some kind of separate antenna set up for these two here, I haven't decided yet. Um, still haven't quite decided yet uh, how I'm going to set up the antenna for this uh, radio. That's uh, something I'm experimenting with. Um, tomorrow when I get done with work, I'll do the part two video for my um, antenna project so you can see how I have things set up because hopefully by then I'll have my mind made up what I want to do with this. 
and then we'll do full-blown tests on I'll just pick a random frequency like say in the 9 megahertz and then just compare the different radios on the different antennas and just see you know what each sounds like so I hope you enjoyed the video and as always peace and all that good stuff